boys today i rented us this private raft just for ourselves oh, let's go i've always wanted a raft hey boys and wait ew what are you guys standing on right now and, uh, wait what are you talking about our raft yeah gross stick up my awesome boat and you guys just have a raft and uh, wait what no this thing looks awesome right guys oh dash i can't even lie that boat is pretty cool yeah just admit it my boat is way better than the raft what guys are we really gonna take this we definitely gotta upgrade our raft and, uh, yeah we can't just lose to speaker woman we have to upgrade this raft here everyone go ahead and grab some blocks here let's go ahead and grab some wood and let's just make this the most epic raft ever wait if we're making it the most epic raft ever then why are we building out of wood and wait what should we build it out of uh i don't know maybe some gold blocks or something and oh my gosh gold blocks that is a great idea here we're gonna make this the most epic raft of the millionaire yacht raft thingy ever it's gonna be so sick you guys really think you could make a better boat than me we'll see about that and wait are you upgrading your boat as well there's no way you can build a better boat than us look there's three of us and only one of you it doesn't matter i'm gonna build the best boat all right guys we gotta make this so much better we have to beat speaker woman just so uh, she learns that we are the best builders and yeah exactly you are right and so far this boat is looking pretty good here let's just go ahead and finish up the foundation of whoa wait this thing is starting to look like a whole cruise like uh, uh, wow what a big upgrade wait guys we should make this like the largest boat ever so we can put so many like cool mini games on this and make it just awesome and yeah you're right here we gotta make this like an entire cruise ship okay there's gonna be a lot more than just a raft and so far i think our boat is actually looking way better than speaker woman's and oh wait actually she looks like she's doing some upgrades as well. Well, here, let's go ahead and finish up the foundation and then we can start building the walls. Yeah, but this building is taking forever. Is there any faster way we could do this? And, oh, wait, actually, we can just go ahead and grab a magic wand. So here, let me go ahead and do slash slash wand. And here, now we can go ahead and select the positions and then just instantly paste in the blocks. So here, let me go ahead and do slash slash set gold underscore block and boom! There we go. Check that out. Whoa, you guys are making your boat out of gold? Uh, well, my quartz boat is going to be way better. What, what makes you think a quartz boat is going to be better than a gold boat? Ours is literally made out of pure gold. And yeah, this is literally 24 karat solid gold. I don't know what you're on about. And look at how big this thing is so far. It's way bigger than I don't even know what that thing is. Hey, well, I'm not done yet. And besides, everybody knows all the good boats are all white. Okay, whatever you say. But anyways, guys, here, now that we've got the walls of our giant cruise ship built out here, we should probably start building like the main deck of the boat. Oh, yeah. We definitely gotta make this boat look super awesome. Yeah, but what are we even gonna have on this boat? Oh, well, you know, once we finish building, like, the basic outline of the ship, then we can start adding, like, the actual activities and stuff. And anyways, now that we've got, like, the main deck done, I think it's time we start adding some activities and... Whoa, wait, speaker man. This little nose you built at the front of the ship looks sick! Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep building this up and make it connect to the actual front of the boat. Whoa, yeah. Okay, that looks awesome. This can be, like, the captain's area. But anyways, here, we should probably go over here on the inside of the build now and let's start building some activities. And wait, guys, the first thing we should probably build is like an arcade room. Oh yeah, that sounds like a great idea. We can have this entire floor be a giant arcade. And oh my gosh, yeah, we can have the entire floor be an arcade. Okay, well, I guess the first thing we should probably do is uh, go ahead and grab some arcade machines. And okay, yeah, here, let's go ahead and grab one of each type. Boom, and let's just go ahead and like put them all around this entire room. While you do that, I'll add in some carpet on the floor. And oh yeah, good idea. That'll add a lot to the room. But here, let's just go ahead and literally surround this entire area with a bunch of these arcade machines. This is gonna be the most epic arcade room ever. And wait, I've got an idea. Instead of surrounding everything with the arcade machines, why don't we have a prize corner somewhere? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're right. Because I'm pretty sure whenever you play these arcade games, you can actually get like a ticket from them. So here, I guess let me try playing this one over here. And whoa, wait. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's the game Snake here. Let me go ahead and get this stuff. And oh, wait, I lost. Um. Uh, well, anyway, th there is tickets. Look, I have one right here. There you go. And oh, wait, yeah, you got one. Perfect. But yeah, guys, we should set up like a prize area where you can like exchange tickets for prizes. That would be super sick. Well, why not right here where I'm building it? And yeah, this works, but... Uh, wait, how are you supposed to, like, actually get the prizes? Oh, look, if you just uh, interact with this block, you could buy stuff. And wait, what? You can literally buy stuff from this? Whoa, wait, that is so sick. And wait, hold on. This one says it needs five tickets, and uh, I've only got one. Wait, hold on. I need to start playing one of these games. Uh, which one am I going to be the best at? And wait, Tetris. Hold on. Let me try playing this one. And Oh, wait, hold on. I know this game. Actually, uh, here, let me just go ahead and put these over here like this. You guys know I'm actually an expert at Tetris. I, I play this all the time. Oh, yeah, I want to get my tickets from Snake. I'm going to Pac-Man. And wait, what? There's Pac-Man? Hold on. Wait, I'm actually popping off in Tetris right now i think i'm actually the best tetris player in the world here we go and i'm pretty sure all you have to do is like try to build the tallest tower right uh, no for tetris you have to make sure that you don't hit the top and wait what no i'm pretty sure you just have to build the tallest tower wait 
Did I lose? What the? Okay, you know what? Uh, forget that. I'm playing Pac-Man. That, that's a better game. And wait a minute. Hold on. Pac-Man is so easy. We can literally farm tickets from this. Yeah, we are definitely going to be the richest ticket people ever. Yeah, here. Let me just go ahead and grab a few. I want to get at least five so I can go ahead and buy that thingy from the countertop. I want to see if that thing actually works. Okay, uh, do I have five yet? Okay, perfect. I just got six tickets. All right, well, anyways, here. Now, let me go ahead and hop into over here. And Whoa, wait. There's like multiple prizes. You can get like a creeper. You can get a pig. And wait, you can get a diamond, but it costs 128 tickets. Uh, here, I guess let me go ahead and buy the creeper really quick and check it out guys look i got a creeper plushie hang on i gotta finish this round oh yeah i'm almost done i've gotta clear the level i'm almost done oh no darn it i died and wait how many tickets did you get from it though i got 14 whole tickets i could buy everything whoa 14 that is a lot but wait guys we should probably go ahead and get some shelves as well so that we can like display what the items that are actually the prizes are so here let me go ahead and grab some slabs really quick and we can just go ahead and put some shelves right over here hey, guys look i just got three tickets from playing pong and oh you did let's go i'm pretty sure you can buy the pig plushie with that oh yeah this looks awesome look at this now we've got all our prizes on display and wait we should make some like lights here so uh it looks like you know like it's an actual prize corner oh my gosh yeah you're right here let me go ahead and grab some of these lamps really quick and also some redstone just like that and i guess let's just go ahead and put a bunch of these redstone lamps here these are gonna look sick wait what are you guys building and oh wait we're just finishing up our arcade room i bet your raft doesn't have anything as cool as that and wait what your thing is so small it's just like a platform wait i'm working on it okay i'm a slow builder uh okay well i'm just saying our ship is gonna be uh, a lot nicer than yours it's literally made out of solid gold yeah well the gold is gonna weigh it down all right i'm gonna have a lot of cool things way better than your arcade room i don't know i don't think there's anything really cooler than an arcade room and yeah i mean an arcade room is pretty epic here i guess let's just go ahead and finish up this floor we can go ahead and select it all and oh wait you got the command and, wait why is there wood in there uh, i have no clue hold on let me redo this command and uh yeah i'm not sure if we should have wood on the floor but other than that this arcade room actually looks sick but guys we should probably get started on the next floor uh i guess let's go ahead and build a little staircase to get up to the next floor oh what's gonna be on the next floor hmm i didn't think about that let me think what do all cruise ships have and wait a minute guys we should build a mini golf course what oh, hold on i've got a way better idea what about a water park wait a water park? okay that is actually a banger idea but wait, wait 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 what if we build the water park on the very top floor of our ship that way we can have the water park go like all the way down to the bottom of the ship oh yeah that's gonna be awesome oh so i guess we're building a mini golf course right now and yep let's do the mini golf course it should be a pretty epic thing let's just go ahead and make like a little spiral staircase to get up to the top and uh yeah this works this doesn't look that nice but you know it gets the job done but anyways uh here how should we build a mini golf course let me think and oh wait okay i guess we can go ahead and use some ice first of all and whoa wait a uh, speaker woman uh, did you just type the wrong command uh nothing nothing nothing's going wrong don't look at it it's fine and uh are you sure you meant to do that i don't know what you're talking about i don't see anything and uh she just slash slash undo that but guys here we gotta start building the mini golf area here let's go ahead and grab a little bit of ice and the reason that we can use ice and uh, she just did it again uh, speaker woman you need to learn how to use commands correctly what in the world are you doing shush uh, my bow is just gonna be really tall and cool okay and uh it's also gonna have what one two three four five six steering wheels no don't look at that don't look at that and okay uh guys we shouldn't be getting distracted here let's just go ahead and work on our mini golf course but basically what we can do is have a bunch of ice over here for like the actual course area and pretty much the reason why ice is really good is because we can go ahead and grab any item like a snowball for example let's just pretend like this snowball is our golf ball and whenever we toss it over here look it's gonna slide we can also cover it up with this lime green carpet and make it look like the grass for a golf course and exactly it's super perfect and wait one thing we can also do to take this one step farther is go ahead and grab a hopper and then we can go ahead and put the hopper right over here and then and i guess we can go ahead and grab a dark green carpet to indicate that this is like the hole and now whenever we go ahead and throw the snowball like that look it's gonna go into the hopper oh let's go wait we should make like a collection system that like collects it and then shoots out fireworks whenever you get a hole oh my gosh that is a banger idea but here uh, we should probably get rid of like this little uh small golf course we gotta build this thing a lot bigger so up here i guess let's go ahead and get rid of this thing really quick and then start laying down a bunch of ice for this epic golf course is there gonna be multiple holes or just the one um i think we should do multiple oh yeah and wait i've got one idea how about let's take one hole and let's go above another hole with the bridge made of ice and whoa wait how's that gonna work whoa wait okay so you're gonna have to like throw the snowball down the bridge okay that could work that's actually sounds like a really cool idea yeah wait and actually i've got a better idea to indicate what hole you're on we could use different color carpets and oh yeah i guess that could work but uh wait guys we should probably also go ahead and put like a little fence around the you know guardrail of the ship just in case uh, anyone gets too close we don't want anyone falling off our ship all right well i'm gonna do red for the hardest difficulty.
difficulty, and then we could do like green, orange, and red for like you know the medium and like the easy one. And oh yeah, good idea. And I guess this red one works over here since this one's like literally sloped and there's like a bridge area. But uh, I guess we can make this first hole over here uh, the green one. Uh, I guess we can just have it like intersect with the bridge. What if you make the green hole go under the bridge like this? And oh yeah, wait, actually hold on, I kind of like that idea here. Let's go ahead and make it go underneath the bridge. And uh, I, where should we put the hole for this one? Wait, why don't we put the hole underneath the bridge? Oh yeah, that look awesome. Yeah, here, let me go ahead and put down the hopper over here and then a green carpet over there. Boom. And now we can go ahead and uh, like actually put the green carpet over here. Wait, is that a mini golf course? And oh, uh, yeah. What do you have on your shed? Uh, I'm building a lot of floors right now. It's going to be really cool and awesome. And oh, wait, you actually do have a lot of floors. Wait, is this literally all you've added? We literally have an entire arcade. Hey, I told you I was slow. Okay, I don't understand how the magic wand works. It's a little bit confusing. And uh, okay, well, I'm just going to say that the boys are going to have the most epic ship ever, and uh, it's going to be so much better than yours. Yeah, we're actually going to be finished first as well. But that's not true. All right, all right. But anyways, here, we should probably finish up on our golf course. Uh, we should probably build the next few levels. So I guess we need to build an orange level as well for like medium difficulty. Wait, guys, do we even have an area for where you start on these golf courses or can you just start from anywhere? And wait, hold on. I see you built like a little staircase area over here. I guess we can go ahead and move this thing over here since like the staircase goes up here. So I guess we can have to start over here. Yeah, I put it here so you can tell what's the entrance and the exit. Yeah, perfect. This actually looks pretty good, but now we got to add the medium difficulty course. So uh, I guess we can just go ahead and add that over here since we've got some empty space. But hmm, how are we going to make a medium difficulty one? Like the hard and easy one are pretty easy, but what about medium? What about like some moving pistons? So like, you know, they have to like find out what the pattern is and they have to go in between the pistons. And, oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. If I'm thinking what you're thinking right now, that is a banger idea. Okay. Uh, here, yeah, let's definitely do that. Uh, I guess let me go ahead and grab some pistons really quick. And I guess for this one, let's go ahead and make the hole right over here. Yeah. Okay. That works. And now we have to go ahead and put some pistons around here. And uh, wait, how are we actually going to control these pistons and like, you know, make them go up and down? Oh, wait, I didn't think about that. Uh, how are we going to do that? Oh, why don't we put down some observers in the arcade room to set off the pistons? And oh, wait, actually, I guess that could work. But then we're going to have like observers sticking out of our ceiling. And wait, who's this guy? Oh, I spawned him in to be the guy for the arcade counter, but I think he just jumped over. And oh, yeah, but hold on. I'm pretty sure your strategy actually works here. Let me go ahead and grab some observers. And wait, where are the pistons? Oh, wait, there they are. I actually found the first one. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's three of them. So uh, we need to find all the pistons here. Wait, I've got a better idea. Hold on. Let me just go up here and let me break down so you guys can see it. There's one here. There's one here. And then there's one here. There you go, guys. And, oh, perfect. All right. And oh, wait, hold on. Can you place them back again? Actually, wait, before you place them back, I have to put observers over here beneath each one just like this. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Wait, we need to put this there and then put the observer there and then over here as well. Perfect. And perfect. There we go. You put the pistons. And now the final thing we have to do is go ahead and put some observers down here facing the opposite direction and now check it out guys the pistons are gonna be moving look at that awesome this is gonna be so difficult to score look you can't even see the hole to get a hole in one i bet i could get a hole in one hang on let me just go like this and, oh 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 and oh wait you got caught by the piston but yeah i mean it's, it shouldn't be too difficult you can't just like kind of go around the piston so yeah i guess it works for a medium difficulty one but guys now we need to add the fireworks that go off whenever you get a point oh yeah but how are we even supposed to do that that seems difficult and yeah you're right that actually does seem difficult but wait actually hold on i'm pretty sure i have an idea here let's go down over here and actually wait no hold on wait let's go over here beneath all of the hoppers and uh, what we can do is have these hoppers go down a little bit more just like this and now let's just go ahead and have all of the hoppers connect to this like line of hoppers and just have them go all the way to this side of the room you guys will see what this is for in a second uh, all right well i guess i'll just help out because i have no clue what you're doing and no, no no trust me it's gonna be really good uh and wait hold on is this the hopper for the medium difficulty one let me check it oh yeah it is perfect okay let's go ahead and connect that to the main line just like that you'll see what this is for in a moment all right, well, this is the hopper for the easy difficulty, right? Yeah, it is. All right, well, let me uh, bring this one down. And yeah, here, just go ahead and bring that one down and connect it to this one right over here. Boom, just like that. Uh, is it connected? And okay, yeah, wait, actually, hold on. We need to make this one tilted like this. And here, let's just go ahead and angle this like that. Boom, there we go. And okay, now whenever someone gets a point, the snowball thingy or golf ball should end up over here. Uh, wait, speaker, baby, hold on. Let me take these out. Uh, try scoring a point in any goal. And oh, wait, actually, wait, two snowballs just came through. Okay, yeah, perfect, it works. All right, all right, perfect. But anyways, now we need to move on to the next step and uh i'm sorry but we're gonna have to get rid of some arcade machines over here to make some extra space let's just go ahead and have this area be like the fireworks center all right i'm watching all right perfect now we just have to have all of these hoppers go down and i guess we can put a barrel down there just like that and then let me grab this one item called a comparator and so wait hold on let's go ahead and deactivate the pistons for now 
they're kind of loud and annoying i guess we can activate them later but anyways now we can put a comparator over here and uh, speaker baby go try uh throwing a golf ball in one of the holes let's see what happens okay i'll try the easy one all right well let's actually see if this works and there we go and all right perfect now any second this thing should light up and output a redstone signal come on come on please work come on if we did this correctly it should work did you see that it worked perfectly let's go it worked uh, should i go test the other one yeah sure go for it but anyways now what we have to do is go ahead and connect this comparator signal to a bunch of dispensers which are going to be filled with fireworks up here let's go ahead and hop up over here and i guess we're gonna have the fireworks area just uh, like be over here like that it can just be three dispensers okay i just tested the hard one. Oh yeah i seen the thing come up and here's the medium one. Oh yeah that one worked too let's go it all worked perfect perfect but anyways now let's go ahead and put some of these over here and then uh, a few more redstone torches beneath them so that these ones turn off and then hold on wait we need to go ahead and move this comparator this way and then also grab a repeater really quick and then hook all of these up to a repeater and then put some redstone just like this whoa this is very complicated what no it's not it's pretty simple and up uh, now here speaker baby try throwing another golf ball in one of the holes but wait before you do that uh speaker man, we need to fill these up with fireworks oh yeah what fireworks should we make hmm let's see and uh hmm, yeah you're right here let me go ahead and grab all of the materials that we need uh wait we also need some paper i'm pretty sure do you know how to make fireworks uh, yeah of course i do uh i'm gonna grab some red dye and i'm gonna grab a diamond and i'm gonna grab some gunpowder and wait what you need a diamond wait hold on how are you supposed to do this again and oh wait hold on i think i got it uh let me just do that and wait, what the, I, I got it for a second oh there we go okay now it works i got a purple fireworks star perfect and now i can mix those with some paper just like this and oh wait actually hold on i think i need to get some more gunpowder let me grab a little bit of that boom and now let me combine all of this inside of my crafting table and let's go i got some purple fireworks here check this out this is gonna look sick oh yeah that's awesome uh hold on let me make mine real quick wait wait wait, wait, wait. let me make an orange one and oh yeah guys we can have one of each of our colors we can have a purple a red and an orange one all right bam mine is done check this out and and, whoa, that looks awesome. All right, well, uh, Speaker Baby, whenever yours is done, then we can go ahead and test it out here. Uh, I guess while you're doing that, let me also go ahead and grab a chest. And uh, I guess we can just put all of the golf balls over here. So let me grab an anvil and some snowballs really quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and name all of these snowballs golf balls. Oh, wait, no, that's gold golf balls. There we go. All right, we're ready to test this out. And all right, you have your fireworks in there. Perfect. Well, anyways, now everyone, let's go ahead and grab some golf balls just like this up here. I guess everyone go ahead and grab three because there's three holes. And up here, let's go ahead and start with the green one. Who wants to go first? Uh, I guess I'll go first since it's the green one. I I'm going to get a hole in one. All right, I can see it. I'm going to aim for it and fire. There we go. Come on, hole in one. And here we go. Boom. It went in. Okay, and now any second, the fireworks should go off. So here we go. It's going to take a second because it has to go through all of the hoppers but come on come on and check it out it worked let's go look at that that was awesome yeah that looked amazing whoa was that fireworks and uh yep we've got fireworks on our ship i bet you don't have those uh no i totally have those uh you, they're, they're just under construction right now and wait she has fireworks as well okay well uh, here let's finish up this golf course uh here i guess let me go ahead and try the orange one and oh wait hold on can uh we, we need to go ahead and turn on the pistons oh yeah we probably should have done that and yeah here let me go ahead and put down the observers over here perfect and here now let's go ahead and try out the medium difficulty and wait hold on if i'm doing the medium one speaker maybe that means you're trying out the red one but here i guess let me go ahead and give this a go come on and there we go come on please go in let's go well, let's go and the fireworks let's go Oh, that's awesome and wait now you've got to do the red one and oh i'm stuck on the best end and yeah speaker baby now it's your turn here we go this red one's gonna be difficult i don't think it's gonna be able to get a hole in one you're gonna have to like throw it here and then like pick it up again and then throw it over again yeah i don't think it's possible so let me just try and throw it this way and okay okay not bad not bad for your first throw and now i have to just throw it this way and try to get it on that and, and oh no uh, it fell off okay wait maybe we should make this part a little bit bigger no no that's how it's supposed to be uh, he threw it out of bounds and okay, well, I, I guess you have to throw your next one from over here. Okay, well, that's fine because I could just throw it up here. And, oh, wait, okay, okay. You're redeeming yourself. Not bad, not bad. And let's see if I can line it up and try to get it directly in the hole. And, and wait, no way you go. can get this in one go. And wait, did you, did you just drop it here? I think I hit the block. I think I'm too short. Let me try again. And here we go, here we go. Will this be another hole? And oh, wait, it looks like you're gonna have to try one more time. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I'm just gonna throw it in. And boom, there you go. And here, wait, hold on. Let's wait up for the fireworks. They should have 
happen any second. Come on. Let's go. And boom, there we go. Awesome. This mini golf course is super dope. Yeah, this thing actually turned out a lot better than I thought. But anyways, guys, what should we build next? We should build the water slide like once we have everything else built so we can build it at the top. But come on, we got to build something else. Oh, uh, what if we build like a little racetrack? Yeah, like a go-kart track? That sounds awesome. Go-karts? Okay, wait, that sounds like a great idea. All right, well, uh, we're going to need a lot of room to build that. So I guess let's build it on the next floor. Here, let's go ahead and just like extend all of these fences a little bit so we can have like a second floor. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, we have magic wands. And wait, what? You're just going to copy and paste the whole thing? Uh, okay, well, I, I guess you can go ahead and do that. I'm not sure how that's going to look, though. Yeah, I'd rather not use the magic wand for the fences. I feel like something would mess up. And uh, yeah, wait, there's a lot of complicated stuff going on down here. You sure it's not going to mess up? Uh, no, it's not going to mess up. I, but it's pretty simple. What I do is I do slash slash replace fence gold block just like this and bam there we go and oh oh wait you were just replacing the fence with gold blocks but wait actually hold on no replace it with glass so we can have like a layer of glass over here and then we can build the next floor on top of that oh yeah that sounds awesome let me do that and then we replace this with glass boom there we go and, whoa okay now this is starting to like actually look really good here i think the next thing we should do is go ahead and extend all of this glass a little bit and then we can start building the next floor on top of that wait can we also use a magic wand for this glass and yep sure thing here let me go ahead and grab one one really quick and now we can just select all of this and slash slash set glass boom there we go and yeah this should be no problem yeah this is coming together so nicely yeah this is awesome here let's just go ahead and finish up all of this glass and we got to make sure to make it like pretty tall because like what if someone's standing over here and wait we might actually want to make it even one block taller just to like you know be super spacious oh our boat is gonna be so huge yeah honestly i wouldn't even call it a boat at this point it's kind of like a, a whole city on water you know we've got like everything you need a city on the water not yet but we're getting there and yeah we're making really good progress but here let's just go ahead and finish up with this final layer of glass and now that we have this layer of glass over here we gotta start building the next floor so hmm, what should we build the next floor out of oh uh, what if we built this layer out of emeralds and oh my gosh that sounds like a great idea we can have like our entire boat just be made out of like super expensive oars and stuff and then it would, they can progressively get like more crazy oh yeah that sounds awesome uh let me just do this and emerald lock bam there we go and oh perfect but wait hold on actually wait i think you should move that one block up we don't want it to be like in the glass that's gonna make the roof kind of short all right, well let me do undo and let me select this and make it super awesome all right all right yeah here let's just go ahead and put all of this emeralds over here there we go that looks pretty good and uh, wait a minute guys i just realized a speaker woman's ship is actually uh, taller than ours right now we cannot have that we have to beat her oh yeah don't worry she's not gonna beat us we're just on, on our second floor and she's on her last hey are you guys talking about my ship uh, yeah we're talking about how we're gonna beat it what makes you think i'm on my last and uh i mean you've got a water park over here how are you gonna build stuff on top of that? Uh, it doesn't matter. My expert engineers are figuring out a way. And, wait, you have expert engineers where? Uh, everywhere. You just can't see them. Uh, I think you're crazy. Okay, but anyways, uh, here, guys, we should probably start building this racetrack here. Let me go ahead and grab some concrete, and let's go ahead and grab some gray concrete and some yellow concrete so, you know, like, we can make roads. And let's just go ahead and start making the racetrack for our ship. This is gonna be awesome. Wait, I've got an idea. Let's take the arc from the, uh, from the golf course over here, and let's do it on the go-karts. And wait, hold on. You mean, like, the bridge thing? That sounds like a great idea and wait a minute guys we don't have to make our go-kart just like one bridge and uh, like call it a day why don't we go ahead and make it like multiple layers like a multi-layer go-kart track oh yeah that sounds awesome uh here let's just start making a staircase to go up and oh my gosh yeah this is gonna be awesome but wait, wait actually wait, hold on there's actually a pretty steep staircase uh i'm not sure if the go-karts are gonna be able to you know like go over that we should probably go ahead and like you know ease the staircase a little bit just to make it like uh, easier for the go-karts yeah maybe we should start the staircase like back here and yeah here we gotta make sure to make it super smooth because we don't want it to be like too bumpy that would be a bad user experience right there. And instead of having it be a straight road up here, we can like curve it to the left. And oh yeah, good idea. We should make this go-kart track like curve and stuff because if it's just like a flat road, then that's gonna be way too easy. So uh, we definitely need to make it kind of challenging. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be the most difficult go-kart course in the world. Oh, I have an idea. What if we make like a spiral road going up? So you have to go in a bunch of circles. And <gasps> wait, that sounds like a banger idea, but wait, how are you gonna get down when you're done? Uh, maybe we just take like a huge drop. Oh my gosh, okay, that sounds like a great idea. We can just have like an epic drop in the middle and then we can have it like land in water so that no one actually gets hurt. That sounds like a great idea. But anyways, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start putting down these yellow blocks on the road just to make it, you know, look more like a go-kart road. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, I think this is really going to add to the aesthetics of the build here. Let's just go ahead and put down a bunch of these yellow things. And wait, hold on. What am I going to put over here for the slabs? Uh, let me see. Is there any yellow slabs? And oh, uh, I guess I can just use some sandstone slabs. We should also probably have some fences on the side. That way no one can fall off. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I'll start working on this spiral if you start working on those fences. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. And yeah, we're definitely...
definitely going to need some fences for guardrails. We do not want people getting injured and then suing us if they get injured. Yeah, if they get injured, it's going to be their own fault. So we don't have, you know, like any liability. And wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Speaker man, wait, you're building the spiral thing all wrong. No, remember, we have to make it like super smooth like this. Oh, I have it so high though. Uh, fine. Yeah, but then it's not going to be a smooth user experience. And remember, we have to try to get five stars on our cruise ship uh, from other customers. So, uh, yeah. And boom, I just finished my water slide. Let's go. And wait, you just finished your water slide? How long were you working on that thing for? Uh, well, it was really complicated to get the turns right and the engineering, and it's a very hard process. Uh, you think that's complicated? Look what we're building. Uh, yeah, we're literally building a spiral go-kart track. <laughs> um, yeah, you might want to take a look this way. Uh, well, that looks weird and ugly. Mine looks awesome and cool. And, uh, wait, what do you mean? Your thing doesn't even have, like, guardrails. If someone falls off, then they're, they're gonna send you a lawsuit. Uh, yeah, and all you have on your boat is one water slide in a, in a pool. What the heck? It is, like, the most boring boat ever. I would hate to be a visitor on this thing. What the heck? I cannot believe you guys would say that about my boat. It's gonna be really cool. I just take a little bit to build, but it's gonna be way cooler by the end. Alright, well, whenever it's really cool, then you can call us over, because uh, ours is already really cool. And, uh, yeah, your boat uh, looks pretty boring right now, but anyways, guys, our uh, the race car track thingy is getting pretty high right now. When should we do the drop? Uh, I think right here should be fine. Let's just make it above this road right here, and let's just take this over here. And yeah, here, wait, hold on, wait, 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 speaker man, we need to turn the road into the middle area, and then we can just have the drop be over here. Let me go ahead and grab some pressure plates really quick. And here, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put down some pressure plates over here. You'll see what this is for in just one moment. It's actually gonna be really cool. What we have to do is put these pressure plates down like this, and then I'm pretty sure if we get some water, it shouldn't spill over the pressure plates, and yeah, check that out. Perfect. So now the cars, or go-karts, I should say, can drop down in here and then just easily drive off. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, yeah, and I'm making a caution sign, making it actually look like the racetrack isn't finished, but it's just part of the lore. And, oh, perfect. There you go. And, uh, here, while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and continue putting, uh, these yellow things on the road, because I, it really adds a lot, you know? It actually makes the thing look a lot nicer. Yeah, and this actually looks so cool. This is like a theme park ride. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that I'm done with all the fences so no one could fall off. Let's go! And yeah, wait, Speaker Man, now that you say it, this, our entire ship is actually like a whole theme park at this point. This thing is insane. Yeah, I think our ship is definitely gonna look better than Speaker Romans at the end. And, oh, yeah, 100%. It's not even a question at this point. But anyways, now that we've got this thing set up, should we take it for a spin? And wait, hold on. Why is this sign hovering? Hold on. We gotta make this like actually look nice. Come on now. Let's put some fences here. And wait, hold on here. I have an idea. Let's go ahead and make the sign like, uh, you know, like twist a little bit so we can have it go like like this, and then we can have it go this way. Well, anyways, guys, it's time for us to test this racetrack. And uh, I think it is. Here, let's go down over here at the bottom, and let's go ahead and grab some go-karts. Let me go ahead and find them. And okay, perfect. There they are. Um, And wait, hold on, guys. We're gonna need to make, like, a little parking area for the go-karts. Uh, I guess let's just do that over here. Yeah, we can also use these concrete blocks to show that you have to park here. And yeah, perfect. That works. And wait, actually, hold on. This is gonna be part of the racetrack, like, you know, in case someone wants to, like, drop down here and loop around. So why don't we have the go-kart parking be over here in this corner? This could be good. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Here, I'll make this loop. All right, yeah, we just gotta make this parking area connect to the start, and we are almost finished. And yeah, there could be like a loop over here, and then we can also have the track like divert if anyone needs to park and, you know, park their go-kart over here. But speaking about the go-karts, let me go ahead and put them down now. These things actually look super sick. I'm just gonna go ahead and put down a bunch of them, so you know, we can have a bunch of people on the track at once. And wait, we're also gonna need a fuel pump for like actually putting gas in them, so let me go ahead and grab one of those. And I'll just go ahead and put it down over here in this corner, and let me also go ahead and grab some fuel and fill this thing up. And boom, there we go. Now we've got our entire go-kart area fully complete. And oh wait, actually, hold on. We need to add some more of these things. Yeah, these yellow things are very important. And yeah, honestly, they're like the most important part of this track, probably. They, it really makes or breaks the go-kart track. And boom, there we go. All the fuel is ready. And perfect. But anyways, guys, now that everything looks done, should we take it for a test spin? Uh, yeah, but wait, 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 wait. I've got to do something real quick. Let me grab this and this and a crafting and table. Wait, oh, wait, hold and on. I know what you're doing. You're gonna die your go-kart. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna do that as well. Let me go ahead and grab some spray paint really quick and some purple dye. And let me just go ahead and get some purple spray paint and boom, there we go. I'm dying mine as well. Wait, hang on. I gotta make mine orange. Yeah, mine's red, the best color. And wait, hold on. Let me go ahead and also grab some fuel from the fuel pump so I can fuel this thing up really quick. There we go. And all right, I think that should be enough fuel. Let me put this thing back and perfect. All right, I'm ready to go. You guys ready? Uh, yeah, I'm obviously ready. Yeah, I'm ready too. All right, well, anyways, here, let's begin. Let's test this thing out. Here we go. Let's hop on the track and let's go. Oh, go, 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 woo! Let's go and wait, Speakerman, I think you just went through the track. What in the world is going on? Oh, gosh, all right, well, let's just keep going. And... Oh, yeah. oh, there you go! I made it to the drop as well. Let's go and whoa, that worked perfectly. That was awesome. Yeah, we gotta go again. Here we go. I'm going in for a second round. Let's go. 
go. Here, I'm almost at the top. And drop. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. If we go too fast, then you land on the ramp again. Uh, yeah, we should probably put like a wall there that stops that. And yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We don't want anyone getting injured. But anyways, here, let me go back over here. I'm just going to start going this way. I need to park my go-kart again. Yep, mine's parked. Let me just go ahead and park mine over here. And boom, perfect. There we go. The parking area works as well. But uh, yeah, I think we should definitely add like an additional wall over here because we don't want anyone like accidentally going too fast and falling back on the track. Whoa, 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 wait. I've got an idea of what to do here. Uh, let's make it a target so it looks like they're just hitting their face into a target. And, oh, okay. Uh, that's actually pretty funny. All right, let's just finish in this target just like this. And let's put in the white. And then boom, there's the bullseye and people can actually hit the bullseye. That looks so awesome. And there we go. That's actually pretty funny. But anyways, now that we've got this go-kart area set up, what do we build next? This area is taking up uh, quite a lot of space. Uh, I have no clue, actually. Oh, what if we build like a giant dining area? Because I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh, yeah. I guess we can build a dining area. And wait, guys, we can have like automatic vending machines and stuff that people can buy food from. But uh, th we're probably going to need to build another floor for that. Well, uh, let's go ahead and grab the wand again. Yeah, let's grab this and let's just uh, slash slash stack. Uh, let's do 15. That should be enough, and right? Wait, wait, no, no, no. We have to set it to glass again. Remember, there's going to be epic. Oh, yeah. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, here. Let's just go ahead and put a layer of glass over here just like this. And wait, hold on. I'm pretty sure on this side, the glass is going to get in the way. Yeah, wait, hold on. We're going to have to break some of these uh, fences over here, but it should be fine. The glass should still uh, keep people inside of the track. Or if they go too fast, then they'll break through the glass and end up in the water. And Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, in that case, we might have to go ahead and grab some reinforced glass and we can just put some reinforced glass over here for the parts where the glass has to like go on the track yeah but hopefully people are careful though even if they're not it should be fine i mean this reinforced glass is pretty strong we can just go ahead and put it over here on the side of the go-kart track just like this and oh wait hold on i should probably do the same up here as well since this part also connects to the go-kart track All right, and we're almost ready for the next floor up we're gonna have to go up you know like five more blocks because the sign and oh yeah um here let's just go ahead and put a little bit more glass and then we can just go ahead and use the wand again let me select that position and then let me go up a few blocks and then slash slash set glass there there we oh wait i spelled glass wrong oh wait actually it still worked never mind well, maybe it just auto corrected you i guess so that's pretty cool actually but here let's go ahead and set the rest of this to glass and then we should be ready to start building the next floor and whoa wait our cruise ship is looking uh, pretty crazy you guys sure this ship isn't gonna be like top heavy or anything uh, i don't think so this should be perfectly fine to me and uh okay if you say so but yeah here let's go ahead and finish up this glass and boom all right this should be good wait, why is there another layer of glass here what in the world is going on i have no clue oh i I think I messed up one of the commands, my bad. And, oh, it's fine. But anyways, guys, now that we've got all of this glass put down, what do we build for the next layer? Uh, since we're going with this theme of, like, building our layers out of ores, what's going to be the next, like, most valuable ore? Uh, well, what about the rarest block of diamond? And, wait, yeah, we could use diamonds, but I feel like we should probably have diamonds at the top, right? Since, like, they're the most valuable block. I don't know if they're the most valuable. I mean, have you seen these blocks? And, whoa, wait, what in the world is that? Infinity block? Okay, uh, yeah, I guess we can put diamonds. We should use the infinity block for the top floor. Uh, yeah, so this floor will do diamond and then the next floor will do those infinity blocks. And yeah, perfect. Sounds good here. Let's go ahead and put a bunch of diamonds down like this. This floor is gonna be sick. We better have the best food on this floor though because I'm actually starting to get really hungry. And oh yeah, definitely. We've got a lot of room here so we're gonna be able to put so much food down and okay, there we go. Now we just gotta put the rest of these diamonds here. And guys, instead of having like actual like workers here, why don't we just have like a dispenser system where people can pay for their food and then just automatically get it? Oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea but how how do we make sure that people don't like scam us? Yeah, or like steal. And hmm, that's a good point. Well, I guess we'll come up with that later here. Let's go ahead and finish up this floor for now. All right, well, let's hurry up and build the food area because I'm really hungry. Oh yeah, this back part here could be like the kitchen area. And yeah, yeah, sounds good. We can have like all of the redstone and stuff back here and customers can just pay for their food up front. But how are we going to make sure we don't get scammed? Uh, let's think. Well, I guess the first thing we have to do is go ahead and put down hoppers over here for people to like actually pay for what food they want. Oh yeah, and then I could put down some item frames to show what they're getting. And perfect sounds good and here i'll go ahead and extend the hoppers a little bit so that they actually go inside of the machine and this is where all of the redstone magic stuff is gonna happen all right and i'll put a sign here for the price of each item and oh yeah sounds good yeah we can just have a sign on top of each one of these hoppers for each item and wait uh how much is a cookie gonna cost one gold nugget all right perfect sounds good but wait how are we gonna make sure that people actually put like a gold nugget in and not like a piece of dirt that, that's not my problem that's your problem mr redstone man and oh uh that's gonna be kind of a challenge and wait hold on what currency are we using 
again gold nuggets. Wait, do they all just cost one gold nugget? Yeah, I've already closed the deal with the supplier. I, we buy these for 0.5 golds, and then we sell them for one, and then we get half profit, and then we can just keep going. It's and, oh, okay, okay, profit. okay. It's profitable. Okay, that's good. I but anyways, don't know uh, what he's saying, but I already have all of the best foods picked out. And Oh, wait, hold on. I just took a look at the food. You got Doritos, Mountain Dew, Cupcakes. Okay, that looks good. But okay, I'm pretty sure what we need to do is go ahead and just connect all of these hoppers together so they all go into like one line of hoppers. This should be pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't look simple. All of that looks complicated. And now, trust me, it's going to be fine. Now, let me just go ahead and slash slash move this real quick to, you know, make it a little bit more compact, just like that. And now, whenever someone drops a gold nugget into here, it should end up in this hopper over here. So, come on. Is it going to end up? Come on. Come on. Okay, perfect. That means everything's working. And now, we need to add like a verification system to check if the item's actually a gold nugget. Uh, yeah, I have no clue how we're supposed to do that. Yeah, that seems really hard. And no, guys, it should be pretty simple, Redstone. All we need to do is go ahead and grab a comparator. And then we just have to put that over there. And then I also think we need to get a repeater as well and just put this over here going like this. And then I'm pretty sure all we have to do is just connect this up like this. And oh wait, hold on. We also need to grab a redstone torch, I think. And we have to put this over here like this that just like that there we go and then the next thing we have to do is let me just go ahead and grab a bunch of dirt and just go ahead and put the dirt in like that there we go and hold on i'm not sure how much dirt we have to put in we have to put in like a very precise amount though and then i need to go ahead and grab a gold nugget and then put the gold nugget in there like that and oh wait actually hold on i need to put this hopper over here just like that there we go and wait a minute hold on is it working actually i think what i have to do is put one piece of dirt there and then one gold nugget there just like that and okay now i think this should work okay uh, wait speaker ruby try dropping like uh, a piece of coal in one of these hoppers or something okay. Okay, I want some cake, so I'll throw it in the cake one. And okay, perfect. And now what should happen is the coal should not end up in this hopper and it should get stuck in this hopper over here. And <gasps> it worked! I am actually so good at redstone. I'm actually so happy that worked. Wait, what? So if we drop a gold nugget in, it'll go through. Let me just drop one in. There we go. And yeah, a gold nugget should go through. It should end up in this one over here. And <gasps> Oh my gosh, that worked perfectly. Oh, wow. I'll give it to you. That actually worked pretty well. And yeah, okay. So now we have a system that actually checks if someone like paid for the right thing and, you know, like didn't just try to scam us. But wait a minute. Hold on. I just realized we're probably going to have to build one of these verifier thingies for each one of the snacks. And I'm not sure if we're going to have enough room for that. Hold on. Wait, why don't we just go ahead and get rid of like half the snacks and then, uh, you know, then we'll have more room for these things. Uh, wait, what? Why do you want to get rid of half of the snacks? I picked these out specifically for me. And, uh, well, we can still have like... Like the good ones can't you just get rid of like a few of them uh fine which ones are your favorites so i know which ones to get rid of and, wait what you're gonna get rid of my favorite ones um I'll, I'll just tell you like which ones are like my least favorites um okay uh actually my favorites one are the cookies the cake the cupcake and the uh doritos yeah okay well i'm not getting rid of cookies or cake uh you know what i think i'll get rid of this cupcake and the mountain dew and uh these two waffles. I'll get rid of those. And okay, sure. I guess that works. But here, now let me go ahead and make this thing work. I need to go ahead and make one of these systems for each one of these modules. So uh, let me just go ahead and copy and paste all of this. It should be pretty simple. I'm not going to rebuild it like myself. So let me select that and then do slash slash stack. And in fact, let me go ahead and do it one more time. And boom, there we go. And oh, wait, uh, actually, we're only going to have enough room for four snacks. Oh my gosh, Dash, you promised more. And, and I didn't promise anything, but come on, four snacks is enough. You can have like cookies and cake and and more cookies and cake. I don't, I don't know what you want. Whatever. I'm pretty sure I can make it work. And all right. But anyways, we should be almost done. I just got to go ahead and put all of these hoppers going like this. Just like that. Boom. And now let me go ahead and put a barrel at the end of each one of these hopper lines as a little collection system so that we can collect our gold nuggets. And finally, what I need to do is put a comparator. Actually, wait, hold on. Let me go ahead and make this hopper line go a little bit longer. Just like that. Boom. And then let me put the barrels again at the end. And now what I can do is go ahead and just put a comparator over here, which is pretty much just going to light up whenever something goes through it, just like that. Perfect. And now let me go ahead and connect that to a repeater really quick. And then using some blocks, I'm just going to go ahead and make a nice little redstone line. And wait, hold on, guys. Where are we going to put the dispensers that like actually drop the food? Wait, why don't we put these up on the ceiling so people can't steal from us? And oh, yeah, that works. Um, All right. Well, I'm already building my redstone line up here. And then we can put the dispensers up on the ceilings and then have them drop food so no one can like reach into the dispensers and steal. So let me grab a dispenser really quick and let me put it right Right over here, boom. And uh, speaker, maybe, uh, can you fill this dispenser up with your snacks? Uh, yeah, I got you. Perfect. And anyways, now let me just put one more repeater over here. And now that we've got that set up, we just got to go ahead and repeat this with all 
all of the other lines of redstone. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Wait, I've got a better idea. Why don't we just use redstone torches like this? And oh, oh yeah, actually that works. Uh, and then we can like, whenever we drop something in there, it'll turn off the redstone torch. And yeah, okay, that's actually a perfect system. I don't know why I didn't think of that. And anyways, hold on. This one is supposed to link up to this dispenser over here. So let's just link that up like that, boom. And then we can go ahead and put a bunch of redstone over here. And we should probably also put a repeater just in case. Now we just have to repeat the same process with all the other ones. And yep, exactly here. While you're doing that one, I'll go ahead and work on this one over here. Oh, once this thing is done, it's going to be so awesome. I can't wait to get the food. Yeah, this thing is actually sick. Here, let's just go ahead and finish connecting all of this. Boom. And wait, is all of the food in the dispensers ready? Yeah, of course it is. You think I'm going to mess up food? And oh, yeah, of course. But anyways, here, we should probably also go ahead and add a little roof now just to protect all of the redstone. Perfect. And after this, the food area should be done. Let's go. But wait, wait, wait. Actually, uh, guys, before we start covering everything up, uh, we should probably test it out to make sure like it actually works, you know? Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh, oh I'll test it. I'll test it. I'll test it. And, oh, all right. Well, anyways, look, you just put one there. So that should give you a piece of cookie. So here we go. Let's see if this works. And <gasps> let's go. That worked perfectly. And wait, wait, hold on. We need to test out the verification as well. Let me try dropping in a barrel in here to try to like scam the machine. And is it going to drop a cookie? It shouldn't drop a cookie if everything goes right. And uh, guys, it's not dropping a cookie. I think everything worked. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, now it's time to build up these walls. Let's do it. And here, let's just go ahead and put down the last few blocks of diamonds. And I guess since we're putting the diamond blocks over here, we should probably put them on top of the glass like that. All right. And uh, wait, guys, we're on the final level. Uh, I think it is time to pull out the infinity block. And wait a minute. Yeah, you're right, guys. It's time for the water park. Here we go. It's time. It's about to get crazy. Let's go ahead and build an entire floor with all of these infinity blocks. These things are actually crazy. You know what else is crazy? This water park is gonna be amazing. And yeah, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so much better than Speaker Woman's water park. And wait, Speaker Woman, are you building a roller coaster? Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, wait, that doesn't look very uh, aerodynamic. You know, that's gonna cause a lot of drag for your boat. Wait, this is so aerodynamic. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, whatever you say. Uh, you know, our ship is actually the definition of aerodynamic. Check this thing out. It's so cool. It's weird. Yeah, it's very tall, too. Uh, yeah, are you sure we're not getting too top heavy here? Uh, no, we'll be fine. Okay, okay, whatever you say. But here, let's. Let's go ahead and start putting down the water now. Since this area is going to be like a whole water slide slash water park thingy, we're going to need to get some water. Whoa, 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 before we do that, let's actually build up the walls with glass so we have, you know, like a barrier that way the water doesn't spill out. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, well, I'll get started on the water slide, and I think it'd be a good idea if it actually goes like outside of the boat a little bit. And, oh my gosh, uh, I guess that will make our ship like a little bit not aerodynamic, but it's fine as long as you don't do what Speaker Woman did. And wait, hold on, we should just have a water slide like going all the way around the ship and and uh, ending off on the mini golf area over here because there's a lot of empty space here. Oh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, I'm going to start working on the roof and get this finished. Perfect. Sounds good here. I guess I'll go ahead and help Speaker Baby with the water slide. And, oh, okay. I see. Are we starting like small over here and then it's just going to gradually get bigger and bigger? Well, no, we're not starting off small. This is just the staircase to get up to it. And this is going to be a giant staircase. And, oh, 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 oh. I see what you're going for. I thought this was the slide. Okay, okay. Yeah, no. What do you take me for, Speaker Woman? And, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I'm, I'm my bad. But yeah, here, let's go ahead and finish up this uh, staircase. And wait, hold on. Uh, I guess while you're doing that i'll go ahead and put some fences around here to make sure no one falls off just keep going up and there we go i think that's high enough and yeah i think that certainly should be high enough here let me just finish putting all these fences around here and now we can start building the actual slide let's go this slide is gonna be sick here uh, i guess i'll just keep building these guardrails while you're building the slide and wait wait hold on you're just gonna make it one block no, no no we gotta make this thing wide we gotta make it like three blocks wide at least oh okay okay that's a good idea yeah yeah we gotta make this thing big it's gonna be the most epic slide ever and here we should probably start making it turn like outside of the glass over here soon yeah that's what i'm gonna do it's gonna go through this glass right here perfect this is gonna be sick here i guess i'll go ahead and start building this part over here and then we can start connecting them okay okay that's a good idea yeah i'm just working on the roof right now i'll join you guys in a bit all right sounds good but anyways now that we've got the slide going outside we should start building the rest of it and wait speaker baby i just got a great idea why don't we build the rest of the slide out of glass oh yeah that would be super scary that way you could look directly down exactly it's gonna be sick and wait hold on we can also grab some stained glass as well there's i'm building this part out of purple. Uh, wait, instead of just using normal glass, we should probably use reinforced glass. And, oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. We would not want this thing breaking. This is probably the last thing we'd want to break. So here, let's go ahead and replace this with some reinforced glass. Yeah, then we're definitely getting sued. Yeah. All right, just keep having it go down here. And wait, I have a fun idea. What if we drop a couple blocks like this? And Whoa, okay, okay. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, we're getting pretty wild and wacky over here, but sure. And we can loop around the ship. Just keep going down like this. All right, all right. I see you here. I'm just going to go ahead and keep building the guardrails. This is going to be the best water park ever. And oh my gosh, yeah, I'm pretty sure what we have built so far is already better than Speaker Woman's entire water park. Well, of course it is. All we would need is a bucket of water and it'd be better. Oh, burned! Hey, what are you 
you guys talking about? Uh, nothing, nothing. We're just talking about how our water slide is uh, better than, like, your entire ship. Wait, that's not even true. Your water slide is probably really dumb looking. But it's not dumb looking. It looks sick. Uh, just wait till you come over and see it. It's, uh, pretty insane. Yeah, I'll definitely blow your socks off. Uh, okay, we'll see about that. And wait, actually, hold on. I think we should probably make these guardrails a little bit taller because it would be really bad if someone falls off. Then they'll probably give us, like, a one out of five stars. Oh, yeah, probably. We don't want that. We want a five out of five. Exactly. We want a six out of five. We have a huge problem. Problem. And wait, we do. What is it? Uh, this one single corner is not the same as the rest of them. And wait, what? It's not. Hold on. There's one, two, three blocks over here. And how many is there over here? One, two. Wait, what? How did we let this happen? Oh, no. Uh, I'm not fixing it. Uh, yeah, we already built the entire ship. We can't just go and repair that. Oh, no. Hopefully, Speaker Woman doesn't notice when she comes to check out our ship. And, uh, yeah, guys. Okay, let's just, uh, like, try to hide that as much as we can. Yeah, it's definitely going to be negative one stars if she sees that. And, yeah, we got to be super careful about that. But, anyways, here, let's just finish up this water slide. It's already starting to look super sick. Yeah, and we're about to be at the mini golf area, which means we're almost at the end. Let's go. But, wait, are we going to have room for, like, a red area for uh, Speaker Man? Oh, uh right here let me get some red well i'm almost done with my build how is your guys's build coming along and wait you're almost done you call this almost done uh yeah this looks like one percent of what we built but uh whatever uh it's like a thousand percent better than yours so don't worry about it and okay okay whatever you say but yeah wait when we're both done our boats guys we should have like a tour on each one and then we can like rate each one to see which one's better oh yeah well we're definitely gonna win that tour uh we'll see about that all right well the water slide is done the only thing we need to do is just add some water and, oh perfect this thing actually looks super sick oh Oh my gosh, wait, I think it's looking so cool. Wait, Speaker Man, what are you building up here? I'm going to the sky, boys. What the? You're building like a whole skyscraper roof. Okay, uh, that's kind of cool, but whoa, wait. Okay, I see you're putting down the water. It's starting to look pretty sick. Yeah, it's flowing all the way down. To infinity and beyond. Oh my gosh, this is sick. Let's go. But uh, wait, how is anyone supposed to get up to the water park area? Uh, Guys, I, I think we forgot to connect all of our floors. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, here, let me go do that really quick. Uh, yeah, you do that. We're almost done and it's almost time for the tours. And yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna break in through the side over here and okay We've got like a little staircase over here to get up But uh, let me go ahead and grab some ladders to get up to the next area and here Let me just go ahead and put some gold blocks over here just like this Actually, I should probably put redstone up here now and let me put some ladders over here to get up and boom There we go now We've got the golf area connected to the go-kart track and here wait I gotta make this thing go even higher uh, now We got to take this all the way up to the next floor, which is uh, the food area I'm pretty sure wait. How are we supposed to get up here? And, oh gosh, wait, no the redstone stuff is up here. Okay, we Need to go up through the other side all right here i'll help you connect the floors and oh perfect thank you uh for this one we have to go ahead and like make a little staircase or sorry bridge to go to the other side of the room because uh all the redstone stuff is up there all right well i guess start it on the bridge i guess all right perfect sounds good here i'll go ahead and put down the guardrails uh, guys this water slide definitely works look out the window and whoa oh my gosh this water slide looks so cool from inside of here and wait speaker one what are you building on your is that parkour yep my ship is gonna have super awesome parkour uh, speaker one you realize whenever your boat starts moving your parkour is gonna stay there right and yeah your boat's gonna be moving but your parkour is not because you literally built it outside of your ship uh well you, it's all part of the plan I, I totally planned for that so don't worry about it uh okay i'm just saying if i were to build parkour i'd probably build it inside of my ship uh, no. and uh okay whatever but here i'm gonna go ahead and continue putting guardrails on this little bridge that we've got going oh yeah i already added the platform to add the ladders on for the next layer and perfect now we can just go ahead and put down the ladders just like that and wait hold on we should probably put some fences around here just to make sure that you know no one tries jumping onto the, uh, you know, go-kart track while they're going up the ladders. Yeah, we definitely don't want to get sued. And yeah, that would be very bad. But here, let's put all of these ladders down. Boom. And okay, now we're connected over here. But uh, we also have to go one floor higher because we need to connect to the water park area as well. No problem. Let's just extend this up just like that. And boom. And there we go. I'm putting down all the ladders. Boom. There we go. And let's go. Okay, perfect. I think everything should be extended now. But anyways, uh, I guess in that case, our entire ship is done. Oh, yeah. And look up. Oh, that looks so trippy with the entire skyscraper and whoa wait hold on i want to see what this looks like from the outside this roof you built is uh pretty insane what in the world uh, yeah i needed to go all out Alrighty, i'm done with my ship are you guys done with yours yet and yep we just finished but wait whose ship should we check out first all right well we definitely want to save the best for last so uh, speaker woman let's check out your boat uh well everyone knows best is first but yeah we can check out mine first come on i don't know about that i thought first is the worst well, let's go inside here and all right wait and is this where we start yep so as you can see right here there's a bunch of armor for us to choose from and there's a bunch of food and swords and whoa wait this area actually is pretty cool but wait why do we need swords and stuff on a boat uh is this like a battleship or something yeah why do you have dirt here yeah wait what's the dirt for hey you'll see later okay 
but we need all this stuff because we're gonna play Splee. And whoa, wait, you set up Spleef on your ship and wait, uh, well, you didn't set it up on your ship. Why'd you set it up outside of your ship? You, you realize if your ship moves, then this isn't gonna move with it, right? I don't need your logic. Okay, just grab a shovel and let's go. And uh, okay, here, let me clear my inventory and grab a shovel. All right, well, uh, you guys ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let me just set everyone to survival. And oh, we're doing this in survival? Yep, of course. All right, well, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready too. Yeah, me too. Okay, then in three, two, one, go! Let's go! I'm going for Speaker Orbit first! No, 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 no! And, wait, hold on, Speaker Orbit. Come here, I'm gonna get you out. And, oh, wait, oh gosh, Speaker Orbit's right there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, it's getting intense. Ah, no, 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 no! Wait, how has nobody fallen off yet? And Wait, Speaker Orbit, oh, I'm going for gosh. you. Let's go! And, wait, what? How did you survive that? Uh, because I'm the best. And, wait, did Speaker maybe fall off? Oh, okay, let's go. There's only three people left now. Yeah, and I have the most platforms, so I'm just gonna sit back and relax. And, wait, Speaker Orbit's got snowballs. And, wait, hold on, can I mine that platform? And, wait, hold on. How am I supposed to get to your platform? Um, that's unfortunate. And, oh, wait, 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 Okay, hold on. I'm going over no. here. And, uh, oh, I messed up my jump. All right, well, I answer you I guys win. left. And, oh, Speaker One fell off. All right, well, I guess Speaker Man wins. Ugh, whatever. You just got lucky. Yeah, you guys are not good at this. Yeah, that was pretty fun, but uh, what else do you have on your boat? Well, let's go to the next floor. And, all right, sure. Yeah, let's check it out. And, whoa, wait. Okay, this is actually a pretty cool looking staircase. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This staircase actually might look better than ours. Uh, everything is so cramped, though. And, yeah, true. And, wait, why do you have a whole animal farm in here? What in the world? We have a rainbow sheep petting suit. We import these from Australia. And, wait, what? Rainbow sheep? What the? Wait, how, wait, how do you get in? Hold on. You said it's a petting zoo. Uh, the, where, how do you pet them? Uh, you just pet them like right here. Yeah, but what if they like all go in the middle? Uh, they won't. Uh, yeah, they'll definitely go in the middle. Watch this. And wait, what's it's me, Ruby? How did you get in there? Uh, don't worry about it. I just jumped over the block. Wait, is he luring them with weeds? Hey, 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 get out of there. Give them a lot of bees in there. Come on. Fine, fine, fine. And all right, well, uh, that was pretty cool. But what else do you have? Well, wait, I see you got this roller coaster over here. And it's actually connected to your ship. Nice. Yep. Yeah. But we should save this for last. I don't want you guys to get spoiled. Oh, wait, what is this roller coaster speaker woman? Wait, where does this go? I'm getting a minecart. Hey, hey, hey. I said save it for last. <sighs> Fine. All right. Well, what else do we have in this tour? Okay. Well, right this way. Oh my gosh. Everything is so cramped for tall people. And you're a tall person. Why did you build this so cramped? Oh, shush. It's fine. And whoa, wait. Are these the arcade games? That, wait. How, why are they hovering? Why is everything hovering in this room? Uh, we like to have an anti-gravity function. Don't question it. Do you know what building a ship means? Because uh, uh, apparently not. And, uh, wait. Why is it this chair in the middle? It's not even centered. Uh, people were using it. So don't worry about it. But there's laptops for everyone. I think the anti-gravity applies to me too, guys. I can't hit the ground. And, uh, wait, what the? Hey, turn off the anti-gravity. So you're maybe levitating. What in the world? <laughs> but no, it's better this way. And look, there's still some food and we have laptops for everybody. And over here is parkour. Although we're going to have to start from the other floor. Whee! And Wait, what? The parkour starts over here? All right. Uh, well, here, let's do it. Uh, You guys should probably be the one to do it. <laughs> uh, guys, guys, help. And, uh, wait, what? Help. The anti-gravity? He's still they're working for him. Uh, wait, uh, speaker one, how do we fix this? Uh, hold on. Let me splash him. Come here. I, I can't come down. Uh, they're going to be there for a while. Uh, yeah, you want to just finish this parkour? Yep, I'm going to first try this. Let's keep going. And oh my, the, be careful. You almost hit me with the potion. Made me and, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, she's already raining potions from the sky. All right, yeah, we got to be careful. Ah, oh gosh, I fell as well. Just go. Be careful of the potions. Oh my gosh. And, wait, what is going on up there? Oh, wait. I think the levitation wore go. off. Oh, that's speaker one. Yeah, the anti-gravity thing is done. And oh my gosh, this parkour is actually annoying. But uh, yeah, there we go. I did it first try. See, the parkour is pretty awesome. Yeah, I didn't get to do the parkour, but what's on the next floor? Oh, well, right this way. All right. And whoa, wait, is this your main attraction? And oh, I see you've got hovering things again. And whoa, wait, there's the pool. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Is this pool good? And uh, wait, the diving board's not even centered. Uh, <laughs> we don't believe in symmetry in this cruise ship. <laughs> what? Oh, you you need help with the building. All right, well, here we go. Boom! And, whoa, let's go. A diving board. That's kind of cool. But wait, hold on. I want to try out this water slide. Let's see. Is this water slide better than ours? Let's give this thing a go. Uh, yeah, I'm giving this thing a go. And oh, this is boring. And uh, yeah, wait, hold on. This is kind of slow. This is like, uh, what's that ride called where like, oh, uh, the lazy river? Yeah, this kind of reminds me of that. Uh, yeah, this is the lazy river times 10. And wait, not to mention, this thing is also very unsafe. Like what if someone is just going around an intense turnover here? And oops, they fall off just like that. Uh, there you go. Legal and lawsuit boom, on your hands. I sue you. Exactly. Just by being on the ship, you have already signed a waiver that you cannot sue me. So it's fine. Uh, why are you fishing, Speaker Baby? Oh, uh, yeah. And that's our fishing area. I got to do what I got to do. The fish fear me. And whoa, wait. You have a fishing area? That's actually pretty cool. But wait, was that everything? Nope. 
We still have to do the roller coaster. And oh yeah, yeah, right, the roller coaster. All right, well here, let's go check out what that's all about. I'm here. Sorry, I was fishing. All right, now let me set everybody to survival. All right, wait, everybody, why, wait, just why do we have to be in survival? And, yeah, wait, why, why uh, do you set us to survival? And, wait, it's not moving. Do we have to push ourselves? Oh my gosh, we have to push ourselves. Oh yeah, push rope. yourselves. There you go. And all right, well, I guess we're going in. Wait, what? Ah, what the? Um, what oh, in the what world is that? Uh, why did he just explode? Uh, yeah, and it got rid of the rest of the mines. Uh, he was the only one to explode. And, oh my, I was really the only one to explode. Uh, I think I might have to file a lawsuit for that one in the world. <laughs> I can't believe you actually fell for that. Oh my gosh. All right, well, honestly, I think I'm going to have to uh, rate your roller coaster a zero out of five stars because of that. What in the world was that? Uh, it was just a little bit of explosion fun, you know? I'll give your boat a one out of five because I can fish. I'll give your boat a zero out of five because there was nothing fun on it. It was just boring. Hey, don't say there was nothing fun. She had fishing. I didn't get the fish. And okay, I guess that puts your total score to the one out of 15. So uh, yeah, you wanted to go check out our ship now? Okay, I guess we can check out this loser ship. What loser ship? All right, well, just follow us down here. And yeah, here, we got to start down at the very bottom at the arcade room here. Just hop down over here into the arcade room. And this is the first room. All right, let's see this. Oh, you have lights. And yep, this is our arcade room fully decked out with lights and a bunch of arcade games. And look, we even got uh, our, our clerk, Bob, over here who will um, uh, manage the counter register. Whoa, you guys have prizes? Yeah, I'm playing Pac-Man right now. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, what's this redstone for? And Oh, oh, oh uh, don't worry about that redstone. Uh, but that's for what's on the next floor. Wait, should we go show her right now, guys? Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go. And boom, just one Pac-Man. All right, let's go. And all right, well, anyway, Speaker Woman, this next floor is our main golf course so here why don't you go ahead and grab three golf balls or uh well they're, technically they're snowballs but just grab three of them from this chest over here and over here is the mini golf course so what you have to do is try to throw your golf ball on each one of these dark carpets and those are your holes so you have to try to throw it there and oh yeah wait speaker man turn on the pistons yeah i got it boom there we go they're all three activated and, all, right, all right go for it Whoa. okay here we go and, uh, wait, wait, no, 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 you did that one wrong that one's the hard one you have to do that one at the end you have to like go around the stuff you have to go for the green one first oh, okay 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 uh, what are you doing you're not even at the entrance oh my gosh how do you not know how to play golf i don't understand this and, uh, yeah you're supposed to stand on like the the green stuff uh, and then throw a thing and oh look you got fireworks because uh, you made a hole let's go here look i'll demonstrate for you here we're gonna start at the green we start on these uh dark oak blocks and then we just throw it at the green so we could get a hole in one bang there we go okay. boom i got it and boom there we go that's the green one done and now we have to move on to the medium difficulty which is the orange one and yeah this orange one is pretty difficult you have to try dodging all of these pistons but it is possible well, i'm just gonna do this and boom and boom there you go. There are your fireworks. Each time you put the golf ball in a hole, a bunch of fireworks come out of those dispensers. Wait, how in the world am I supposed to do this one? There is a way to get a hole in one on this, but uh, that's kind of a secret, and you've got to find that out yourself. But uh, you have to go through the long way. Oh, I'm just kidding. Gonna... Uh, but no, that's not how you play golf. That's cheating. Woo! I made it. Wait, what no, do you, you mean didn't. I didn't? No, you didn't. Okay, okay, whatever. But anyways, here, I guess let's move on to the next floor. We have some really cool stuff on this entire ship, and it's pretty epic. So here, why don't you just go ahead and follow me up this ladder onto the next floor, and here is our go-kart track. What do you think? Whoa, wait, how do I ride it? I will just come over this way, and we can all get our very own go-kart. And oh, you probably want yours to be a specific color. Uh, what color do you want it to be? Pink. All right, well, let me do this, and bam. And yep, we've got these epic custom-painted go-karts. They're pretty cool, and what we can do is go ahead and ride them. And oh, wait, you're just gonna go in front of me. All right, here, let me Woo! go ahead and turn my thing. Let's go. Ah! Yep, you gotta be careful because at the very end, there is a huge drop. Boom, and oh, let's go. Whoa. And, well, wait, hold on. We gotta try to hit the target. Let me try to hit it spot on and boom. Oh, that was almost a bullseye. And, oh, wait, I think I made it back on the track. All right, well, I'll take that. Yay. All right, well, time to park our carts and let's go to the next floor. Oh, the next floor is my favorite. That one was super awesome. Yep, here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do one more drop. Boom. There we go. And here, now let me go ahead and park my go-kart. Let's go. All right, well, follow me onto the next floor because the next floor is my favorite. And, oh, yeah. Wait, is the next floor the food room? Yeah, it's the food room. What other room would be my favorite? And, oh, yeah, right. Cool. You guys have a food room? What kind of food do you have? Uh, only the best kinds. And Oh, yeah, this room is pretty epic. So as you can see over here, uh, well, this isn't like the traditional food room, right? We don't have like a chef or like a countertop or anything. But as you can see, we've got our entire menu right here. We have cake, cookies, uh, chocolate, and Doritos. 
those. And the only way you can get them is if you drop a gold nugget in here. Uh, what if I try scamming you and I just put some cobblestone in here? And, oh, uh, well, we actually thought of that. Uh, well, you can wait for your food, but nothing's gonna come out. Uh, what? Uh, fine, I'll try to put a gold nugget. And, yeah, here, check it out. Now when you put a gold nugget, something should actually come out any second. And check it out, look, you got cake! <gasps> Whoa, no way, that's awesome! And it's like that for every single one of these hoppers, so you have to pay gold nuggets. Yep, it's pretty oh, epic. That's actually pretty cool that you guys have a dispenser system. I didn't think you would not be able to get scammed. Yeah, I know, it's just pretty awesome, but the tour's not over yet. We have one more final floor. And, oh, yeah, this is probably the most epic floor of them all. Whoa, these blocks are rainbow. And, yep, this is the, the triple platinum VIP room with these infinity blocks. These are, like, the most uh, valuable ore blocks ever, which is why we use them up here. But, anyways, here is the water slide. Whoa. And, wait, uh, we're not gonna tell you anything else. You have to go first and you experience it on your own. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this boat down in. Here I go. And wait here, let me grab a boat as well. And here, let me put down my boat. And all right, let's go. Wee, let's go. Whoa, I'm going so fast. Whoa, wait, yeah, this thing is actually awesome. What the? Oh my gosh, wait, there's so many drops. That is so epic. Whoa. Yeah, I made sure that this water park was amazing. And whoa, yeah, that was awesome. That was actually my first time going on it as well. And that was so much cooler than I thought. Whoa, no, I'm not gonna lie. That was way better than my water slide. Yeah, I know. It was pretty epic. But anyways, that was our entire ship. What do you rate it out of five? Uh, well, I did work really hard on mine, but honestly, yours is a five out of five. It was awesome. Let's go! Perfect score! Let's go! We did it! That means our ship was better, so let's go, GG's! That was pretty crazy, and if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.